Hello and welcome back to another video. Today you're joining me outside of Reading Station, uh, just a quick 20 minute journey away from London, but that's not where we'll be heading today. We'll be heading off to Basingstoke, the Great Western Railway. Um, a quick 23 minute um, hop over there. So yeah, enjoy the video. Reading was opened on the 30th of March, 1840, as simply Reading. It was then renamed to Reading General in 1949 to distinguish itself from the neighbouring South Eastern Station. Then, in 1974, it was renamed back to Reading. Today is one of the only times on my channel where I am yet to purchase my ticket for today as there is no reduction in price for booking in advance. Purchasing a ticket can easily be done at any ticket machine or at the ticket office if you need some help. I'll be using my 16 to 17 rail card for 50% off of my off peak day return which costs just £3.75. Access to the platform is granted via a ticket barrier. Today my train will be departing from platform number 2. Today we'll be travelling on one of Great Western Railway's three car variants of the Class 165s, built between 1990 and 1992. Seating is unreserved and comes in a 3 plus 2 configuration, however there is a little declassified first class section on these units which I'll sit in for today's journey. Before we leave let's have a little seat tour. You can find a plug socket and two USB ports to your left. This is very good to see on such an odd unit. Legroom is almost unlimited. You'd easily fit four people in this bay. You can find armrests either side of your seat, as well as this slightly weirdly positioned reading light. It won't come in much use for today's journey. Overall comfort of these seats is superb. You kind of sink into them. The same cannot be said for standard class, however. 
Lastly, you can find this locked window for when the air conditioning system fails. And we depart Reading on time at 37 minutes past 3. I'm not entirely sure what our top speed will be today, but the fastest these units can go is 75 miles per hour. Our first stop of the day is Reading West, about two minutes after we depart Reading. If you're enjoying the video so far, why not subscribe? I'm nearly at 1000 subscribers, so all support is greatly appreciated. Time for a very quick wonder. Toilets can be found dotted around the train, with this being in the disabled variant. While I'm glad to say that everything was working as expected, I'm not that glad to say it looks like our toilet has been vandalised by graffiti. After Reading West, we call it Mortimer. Do you want early access to my videos for just £1 a month? Then head on over to my Patreon. You'll also get your name in the description of my videos. All money is reinvested into the channel to make better videos for you. We then call it Bramley. Not to be confused with Bramley and Leeds, unless you've taken a slight detour. After just over 25 minutes, we're fast approaching Basingstoke, so I'll give my thoughts on the trip now. To be honest, there's not much to say about today's journey. It was cheap, uneventful, and apart from the vandalised toilet, was overall a very pleasant way to spend a half hour or so. The 165s are still going strong to this day, and are perfect units for a journey of this length. I wouldn't be saying the same thing if I was stuck on one of these units from Cardiff to Portsmouth, however. As stated earlier, today's journey cost me just £3.75 for an off-peak day return, giving a price per journey of just £1.87 and a half penny, overall representing fantastic value for money.
where this train terminates. Well I do hope you enjoyed today's video, if you did please give it a like, comment and share as well as subscribe to the channel, thank you.